Hi friends, in our last session, we have started with our chapter that was application of industrial internet of things. In that we have seen various applications of uh, IIoT. In today's session, we are also going to discuss the further applications. That is, we are going to discuss home automation, how we can convert our buildings into a smart buildings and what is a smart card. That is, what are the features of a smart card. This is Fezan Kagzi and I welcome you all to a lecture series of Industrial Internet of Things. So let's begin. Now home automation as you can see, which means is uh, name itself suggests that we need to convert our home into a smart home. Okay, our building into a smart building, right. Now how we can do that? What, to, what is the characteristic, what we need to do in order to convert into a smart home? So we would say that whatever appliances or devices which we are using in our day-to-day -day life why not to connect this device to the internet why can't we make this device as a smart device which means that from any remote location or from any location you are there outside the home you can easily access this device so that can be done if we provide the internet connectivity and if we use an embedded system right that is a system in which we are using sensors so which are the devices which can be converted into a smart device so we can say that our day-to-day -day device such as washing machine smart tv right then after we say air conditioners okay then printers all these devices we can convert it into a smart device by providing them a internet connection now these devices can be easily accessible from any remote location even we can control the lighting right uh, we can use a smart lighting system we can even see the application in a home security right so these are all the applications so you can see on your screen the various applications are written that is ir camera right then smoke sensor which are attached on a ceiling right to, uh, if there is any smoke inside the house then it can be easily detected by alarm and we can use various gases for a uh, fire extinguisher or uh, exhaust fan or start a chimney to remove the smoke from the home right then gas leak sensor smart windows right then master panel then tv sets that is smart television right then emergency buttons air conditioners light switches sockets etc even we uh, we find it uh, in conservation of energy now how a light conservation can be done so you will be get a clear idea by watching this video which i have shown over here so you can see in this uh, uh, video that light sensor is placed on our smart home, right? Then it is going to sense the intensity of a sunlight. Now in a daytime, in intensity will be much higher, which means in indoor intensity has to be reduced, right? In order to match that, which means the light conservation will take place in a daytime. Whereas uh, in a, during a night time, the light sensor will detect that there is no sunlight, which means the indoor intensity has to be increased. This can be done easily by making use of a smart cyber physical system right now let us move on and see that how we can achieve that so we can say that the concept of home or home automation aims to bring a control of operating our day-to-day -day electrical appliances at our fingertips right now in that case we would say we require an affordable lighting solutions right for energy conservation then after we required uh, the smart system for our home security right then we required to control our entertainment system so we can use a centralized home entertainment system right also we can take an example of our uh, automatic washing machine that is a top load machine for example now most of the times it happens that the supply of water is uh, not sufficient enough or at a particular time only the supply of water takes place so what we can do we can schedule the time as per our requirement now let's say that at that time we are not available at our home right we are somewhere outside the home at some remote location so if we provide a connectivity that by means of an internet connection and by giving an instructions to our smartphone we can easily operate the washing machine from any remote location which means let's say 10 uh, 10 am the water is coming we can immediately give the command to switch on the machine right so as soon as we give a command it will be given directly to the central that is a centralized control system okay that is a cloud computing then a cloud computing will give that command to the hub that is a system which is install in our home and that system will control the sensor or actuate the sensor to switch on the 
washing machine so this is how a system is going to operate similarly for example that we need to operate a air conditioner now let's say that a surrounding temperature of our home is become is becoming 30 degrees celsius in that case we are not present at our home but we need that whenever i came home uh, the temperature should be reduced to let's say 24 degrees celsius so what you are going to do so it will give an indication on your smartphone that the temperature has been increased now what we need to do is in our hand right so what i am going to give a command that switch on the air conditioner if a temperature gets beyond 30 degrees celsius so automatically the sensor will trigger and switch on the ac okay now in this system we are actually using a cascading uh, arrangement that is if3t uh, system we are using that is if this then that which means if this happens then take this action so as i i have given an example that if the the surrounding temperature increases beyond 30 degrees celsius so what step a system has to take then a system has to switch on the air conditioner right now similarly another example we can give of a, a motion sensor so motion sensor can be installed in our house right so whenever some uh, unknown or suspicious activity is noted that someone is moving in our home so motion sensor is automatically going to give the uh, signal to the hub that is a centralized unit the hub is going to give a signal to the cloud and through the cloud computing that is th through a satellite communication it will get a signal on our smartphone so easily the user can determine that someone is moving in my house which means by means of a motion sensor so now what step a user can take he can directly give a command to switch on the camera right by making use of a wifi so he can easily took the view of his house by making use of a cctv camera right which would be again a wifi enabled ir sensor right so as you can see on your screen that is clearly written now what are the systems which are included in this home automation so we would say there will be a hub that is called a centralized control system which will be connected to the cloud or network through the internet you can schedule various events as per your routine activity or a daily schedules right daily schedules which means uh, as i had given an example of a machine that machine has to be operated at a specific time now you are not present at a home so it has to be automatically uh, activated right so that is a schedule which has been uh, set for a daily routine okay now the cloud network can receive and store all the user inputs and transfer them to the hub as per the schedule event so whatever command we give we actually give that command to the cloud now cloud is connected with a hub which is present in our home right so cloud is giving a command to the hub and hub is a one which is going to operate all the sensor which means we can say that hub is a control system okay and a cloud is a one which is going to store all the information and which is going to take all the information from the user as well as from the hub so even we have given an example that as you can see motion sensor will instantaneously notify the user either either to the email sms or a call or a app notification that whenever it detects any unwanted motion in the house now after receiving a notification the user can do what so we can say it can he can quickly uh, switch on the cameras right so that is for a home security smart cameras can be switched on and can check the status of his or her home from any remote location now next further we can see let's move on as i have told that if uh, if3t which means if this then that integration helps in this condition so what it is going to enable it is going to enable to create a cascading effect of actions where the la where the target action will trigger only when if condition is satisfied which means we can take some of the example as, as i have told that if a day temperature is about 25 degrees celsius then switch on the air conditioner and what else we can do then roll down the curtain blind which means the curtain has to be shut down right as we require the cooling effect now if a movie mode is on if a movie mode is on then turn the light to 10% brightness which means that when a home theater system is running so obviously we don't require light in our room right so what uh, automatically it has to be done so the brightness level of that room has to be reduced so let's say the command is set that if movie mode is on then turn the light to 10% brightness similarly uh, for a gardening purpose also we can use our cps system so in that we can say a soil sensor can be installed inside the Uh, soil right uh, so we can say that if the soil moisture is less than a specific value then turn the water sprinkler in the garden on 
okay which means when a dryness of a soil takes place then automatically the system is going to handle the sprinkler and it will turn on and water supply will be given to the soil or to the particular plant right now there are actually endless possibilities that we can create with the if3t triggers and thus make the optimum use of our home automation system thereby making the optimum use of energy and simultaneously enjoying a comfortable lifestyle right so i hope that you are clear with how we can achieve our uh, smart home okay now let us move on and see some of the applications which you have discussed so you can see over here the applications from home automation is a light controlling that is lighting control then hvac right then uh, gardening management then smart home appliances improved home safety and security home air quality and water quality monitoring which means we can even use a ph sensor to determine the quality of water right then natural language based voice assistant as we know that amazon has given its product that is called alexa which can uh, communicate with a user and do whatever a user want right uh, through my by, by the means of a voice command that is to switch off the light to switch on the light right so smart lightning can be uh, operated right by means of even alexa and even a music system can be operated easily so better infotainment delivery can be achieved than smart switches smart locks smart energy meters so metering we have already discussed uh, in our topic itself that is how a smart meter is going to operate it is going to uh, store all the uh, details of the electricity consumption and in every 30 minutes it is going to display the consumption of a units on a smartphone of a user right smart locks how it's going to operate so automatically a smart lock can be operated by a face detection itself right so the door will automatically get open so this is all what so we would say it is a part of a cyber physical system right uh, automation is provided in our house so now the sensors name are given that which type of sensors we are using in our home so lux sensor is called a illumination sensor right that is it is going to uh, de uh, determine the intensity of a light okay this sensor is going to determine the intensity of a light then water level sensor air composition sensor temperature sensor right then video camera for surveillance sound sensor pressure sensor will be present humidity sensor will be present okay now this humidity sensor will help to determine the condition of moisture in our surrounding atmosphere right so based on this we would say air conditioner will be operated okay then accelerometer infrared sensor infrared sensor is going to give an idea of a heat content present in our house right then vibration sensor and ultrasonic sensors so these are all the sensors which can be installed in our house to convert our house into a smart house right now let's move on and understand a next type of application that is called a smart cards now what are the smart cards as the name itself suggests that we use these cards right in our day to day life for doing a various banking banking transactions that is our debit card credit cards right even there are certain smart cards uh, which are going to store the information of the employees okay these are these cards are even given by the employers to their employee okay uh, for example to for attendance system for uh, for giving access to the particular uh, room right so these smart cards plays an important role in that now how we can say this is a smart card so it is a consisting of a smart chip which is present as you can see in a diagram of a card this chip you can clearly see a yellow color this is called a smart chip basically this chip is a microcontroller now as we all know that microcontroller that is going to store all the information of the user right uh, in case of a banking uh, banking case uh, it is going to store the data of a customer right its id its uh, balance details all the details and its pin uh, pin code right all that details will be stored in that chip that is called a microcontroller chip in case of a we would say a, a person working in a company so in that case it is going to store the name of a person his id right his attendance his biometrics right so all that data will be easily stored in this card now this card has a several application now this card can even be used for a healthcare system right now how it is helpful so in that case uh, we can use it to store the details of a patient right so whenever a person has to go in a hospital he doesn't has to uh, carry a file and give it right all the data of a person details medicines his past history right uh, what problem he is facing all that data will be present in that microcontroller chip 
okay so it will be easier and even the past data which is uh, two to three years back data that can even be stored in a single card okay so it will be easily accessible uh, for the doctor also to determine the past disease and based on that he can recommend the present medicines so all this is helpful by making use of a smart cards now as you can see it is written that smart cards have a long uh, long been used for securing different types of human network transactions for example they are used to make a secure payment for purchase over a bank payment network now smart card access control allows employers to grant specific permissions control access to the buildings that is to the specific or restricted zone right so that facilities can be accessed only by means of a biometrics or a smart card okay now they can be also be combined with the other form of authentication technique like a pin is added in a smart card passwords biometrics to implement a stronger authentication protocol now over here it is shown a typical communication process for a smart card door access so this is a smart card this is a smart card reader uh, and most of the smart cards are now Wi-Fi enabled as we know so just we need to tap and a transaction will be done and the uh, signal and the transaction details are coming on our mobile phones right so over here you can see a smart card is coming in contact with the reader reader is taking a credentials communicate uh, this card is going to communicate the credentials to the reader then after the reader is going to communicate with the controller now what a controller can do so controller can unlock the door or it will deny the entry which means that if a pin or a password is correct then controller will open the door and it the card reader will directly communicate or we can say card reader is nothing but a bank of a shopkeeper right so that bank will going to communicate with the bank of a customer right so control panel communicates to the access control system that is nothing but a uh, control system of a bank of a customer now if all the details are correct and if the balance is available in the account of the customer then it will give a feedback directly to the controller and a transaction will take place and automatically <clears throat> the slip will come out from this card reader okay indicating a successful transaction so this is how a communication takes place in case of a smart cards okay now let's move on so as I have uh, told that a microcontroller is basically nothing but a small chip uh, that is a smart chip. So the secure microcontroller inside a smart card also known as a smart chip which allows to store and process data and carry a secure communication with a smart card reader. Now even as I have given the example of a hospital so we can say that a smart card based system can be used by individual that may be used in all the governments and authorized hospitals. Now this card will have all the historical data regarding the patient's treatment. Okay, so his name, his past data, his disease data and what medicines has been recommended in past, uh, how many doctors have suggested a medicine. So all these data will be included in this card and the patient doesn't require to take a file uh, for the appointment. Right, all the data will be uh, linked with the server of the hospital. Okay, so the smart card enable system can facilitate easy data collection and cloud based system which can provide actionable insight to the healthcare authorities for improved administration. Even this uh, smart card can be used for e-services that is electronic services provided by government administration. For example, that citizen can avail all the government services through this card. Now the government can aggregate information about the customer or a user through this card for proactive planning and management all the government services can be integrated through e-service portal the citizen can avail this facility for paying their water bills electricity bills property tax hospital checkups etc so the integrated data also helps in policy making and administration Okay guys, so I hope that you are clear with the funda of a smart card. So in this chapter what we have discussed up till now, we have discussed about what is smart metering, what is e-health body area networks, how we can achieve that, how our sensors are fitted in our body. Then we have discussed that how we can achieve a automobile automation that is about uh, how we can make a vehicle and convert a vehicle into a smart vehicle. Then we have discussed that how we can obtain a smart city how we can convert a city into a smart city right we have seen all the different examples for uh, applying a cyber physical system in that case then after we have seen how we can achieve a home automation and finally we have seen uh, what is a smart card and what is the use of a smart card so these are all the applications which we need to keep in mind with this we are completing with our chapter
in our next session we are going to start with our new chapter that is artificial intelligence so till then stay tuned and thank you all